Ramadi in Iraq. This is a terrorist hell building. The Reaper crew deploy a paveway bomb to destroy it. Attack missions like this are part of its job, but so too is surveillance and intelligence gathering. The RAF has 10 Reapers based in the Middle East. They fly missions over Iraq and Syria as part of Operation Shader. But the crews flying them are in ground control stations thousands of miles away, including here at RAF Waddington. It's essentially a large cargo container, a large shipping container. Um, and at the front, as you can see, you've got, you've got two stations, two control stations. Um, one of which for the pilot and one of which for the sensor operator. And it's like a cockpit as in any other aircraft. You know, I learned to fly in a conventional manned or crewed aircraft. Um, and this is exactly the same. You've got the same control inputs. It's just that it's a box on the ground and you're 3,000 miles away from where the aircraft is. The Reaper has been described as one of the most effective capabilities for UK defence over the past decade. So as soon as you get in here, you are exceptionally clued in to the situation in Iraq and Syria. So the idea that, yes, there is physical distance there, but actually mentally, in terms of what you're looking at, what you're experiencing, that is Iraq and Syria for that time. For Oli, the distance doesn't affect operational performance, but there are some challenges to warfighting from home, and that's disconnecting from the front line at the end of the shift. I think the most difficult thing is obviously when um, you've, you've seen something, you've witnessed something, especially in the early days of, of Daesh, that potentially wasn't as pleasant and, and wasn't a nice thing to experience. And then all of a sudden you're back into, quote, you know, the real world, whereby you are, you're, you're sitting there with your mates having a coffee. And it, that can be quite disconcerting. This isn't an issue that's gone unnoticed and welfare support has been introduced. You're trying uh, as best you can to, to do your core role day to day here and then separate that from your, your family life and, and go back. And we have a great network here at RAF Warrington, not only to give the additional support to my crews here on 13 Squadron, but also to the, the family of those on, on the RPAS unit. As RAF Waddington marks 10 years of Reaper operations from the base and 155,000 hours in the sky, it's also looking to next year when the new Protector drone will come into service. Claire Sadler, Forces News, RAF Waddington.